In this video I'm going to show you how to set up one of the simplest setups for using PoE cameras over a network. Here we have an NVR, which is a four channel NVR. We have our router in the center. And then on the left hand side we have our PoE switch which will power the cameras and then also forward their data onto the router. And then the router will for then forward the data onto the NVR. Keep in mind, although you could use the PoE ports from the NVR, this guide is primarily focused on people who have NVRs that either don't have PoE ports or they have maxed out their PoE ports, but the NVR can still take additional channels, such as a 32-channel recorder that only has 16 PoE ports on the back. This is also true for XVR or hybrid DVRs that take both BNC and IP cameras that require the IP cameras to be first added to a network and then captured into the XVR system. But in this video we're just going to focus simply on the physical connection between all of these devices. Here we can see we have three separate Ethernet cords. And here we have the NVR and we have PoE ports here, but keep in mind we're not using these PoE ports for the camera to power and send data. We're using the PoE switch. So here we have the NVR's LAN port. The LAN port will always have lights on it on the NVR. That way you can distinguish it from your PoE ports. We're going to push and snap that in there. And here we have the back of the router. We have four LAN ports. And then we have one internet port. Now that's the internet port that you use from your modem from your internet service provider. And we don't care about that port in this instance, so we're just going to plug this right into one of the LAN ports or local area ports on the router. Now note some routers will have lights for the LAN ports. This one, however, does not have lights but we would be able to tell that we have a connection from the lights on our NVR's LAN port. Now we're going to come over here on the other side and then plug in our other LAN cable to our router and this one is going to the uplink port on the PoE switch. You know this PoE switch could have either one or two uplink ports. This one has two so we're going to just put it in one of the uplink ports. Again the PoE switch has lights much like your NVR's LAN port, or your router may also have lights on their LAN ports as well. So now as you can see, we have a connection between our NVR to the router. We have a connection between our router and the PoE switch. Now all we need to do is tie in our camera here. We have our Avalonix Bullet IP camera here. It's actually a 4K camera. We're going to plug that in here, the one side of our LAN cable into a LAN port on our PoE switch and then we're going to plug into the pigtail of this camera. Now obviously we don't have anything connected into the wall, wall socket here so we're not getting any power. We can't really see the camera powering up or the NVR powering up to actually capture the, the camera. The rest of that is actually covered in our how to use IP cameras over a network guide that shows you how to go into the NVR and add the camera over the network to the NVR so it can, can record through the router and then through the PoE switch here. Hopefully this video clears everything up as far as the physical connection between all of your equipment and keep reading the guide to figure out how to configure everything. Thank you for watching.